Hello, and welcome to another product review on sillyreviews.com. Today we're reviewing the Aluma Wallet. I just picked this up from the local drugstore, convenience store, for $10.99. Um, this is an alternative to, well, what I'm going to use it for is an, is an alternative to the classic wallet. And uh, basically, I'm, I'm hoping it helps me get organized plus protects my stuff. Um, as my wallet has been used for a while now, it's starting to get loose and... Uh, you know, cards start falling out, and uh, it's getting to be annoying. Plus, I've uh, I'm known to wash my wallet, leave it in my pants, and this is supposed to be water resistant. So hopefully, you know, if that does happen, then maybe my stuff won't get wet. At the least, when I go to throw it in the dryer, I can hear it clunking around. So let's go ahead and open her up and try to consolidate um, everything that's in my wallet into this. All right, it's got that packaging that's incredibly difficult to open. So now I need to grab some scissors. Here we go. pop it out of here and first I'm going to compare it because it's not going to get bigger no matter how much stuff I put in it so I'm going to go ahead and compare it to my wallet size wise let's see it's about uh it's thinner it's definitely thinner and about the same width maybe a, a couple centimeters millimeter smaller. Uh, wondering if it was going to look kind of fruit using it. I mean, it doesn't look too girly. Doesn't doesn't look like a girl's coin purse thing or whatever. So I think I'll be able to get by. Might even get it customized. Feels like maybe I can get something engraved on it. Maybe that's pretty cool. So let's put some stuff in it and see how it works. Okay, you can see right here it's got an accordion style uh, input for all your stuff. So hopefully, uh, I don't have too many credit cards or anything, so hopefully everything fits in there. I do have a junk portion in my wallet, which I think most guys have, that holds my uh, business cards, random stuff. I got my birth certificate in there, that's something you don't want to carry around, so there's something productive. Get that out of there. You know, random business cards in one portion of the wallet. I'll just throw those in one compartment of the uh, the dealio here. Let's see, I'll just throw these in the back. Okay, those fit. And what is this that came with it? A free song download. Karishma, Glow in the Dark. It's got a Facebook page, download code. Yeah, I won't be fooling with that. All right. So next, let's go with uh, the most important. And let's go ahead and put my license and my ID in here. Because I'll put those somewhere where I can pop it out pretty easily. So we're going to put that. We're going to put them in the back here or the front, whatever. But I'm going to turn around so no critical info is shown okay so now I'm left with one two three four five compartments now well, let's see I've got one two three four I've got a total of four credit and debit cards so let's go ahead and put those in there Okay, those fit, and I have one slot left. Let's see, car insurance. 
My last slide's gonna have to be for my money, which I don't have much of. Let's throw my car insurance behind my uh, license and ID. Okay, so that fits. And with the last compartment, let's take this little bit of money that I have. Got one, two, three dollars and an ATM receipt. A Walmart receipt. Might need that if I need to bring something back. Okay, so three bucks. Big three. Let's see if that'll fit in here. See, and in the picture it shows you the money folded up. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna fold it up like this. And stick that money right in here and that fits and let's see what else do I have in my wallet Oop. I've got uh, another car insurance card maybe this is an old one 92512 now my other one's old what's this one say 32512 okay so throw that one out throw this one in and a little junk item throw that in here okay so as you can tell everything does fit that I have and if I had more uh, more credit cards debit cards gift cards whatever you know I could I could fill up these uh, little slots with a, a couple at a time there's definitely room well, let's see if it closes whoo I it's a it's a lot of pressure once you get right here to close it so what I'm worried about now is this plastic hinge, how well is that going to hold up? We'll have to see. I guess time will tell. But let's first, let's see if it'll close. Okay, it's closed. Uh, there's a rubber seal. Well, that's plastic. Hold on a second. Let's open this back up. Oh, the water resistance is, uh, the gasket is not rubber it's it's a firm plastic so I don't know how much protection that's gonna get there is a groove inside of here that goes into an opening but I get how it works We're all water resistant yeah it makes sense close it up let's open and close it a few times see if it, it breaks or anything like the seal on it could be better and this is to be expected I guess you know anything as seen on TV but I don't know if this camera is going to be able to focus in on here. But you can see there's some spacing. So pretty good. Um, this is heavier than my wallet. It's not ridiculous. It's not as heavy as my phone. So that'll do. Hmm. I don't know. I have to give it some use to, to judge its durability. But so far, so good. I think I like it. I don't know if anybody's going to make fun of me when I use it. But it does seem practical. I, I am worried about this hinge breaking. Very worried. Because there's a, there's a lot, just with the little bit of stuff I have in here, there's a lot of pressure pulling on this. And I mean, the difference between it, you know, being functional and breaking, that's not a... It's not a big line to cross. It looks like that's probably going to happen one day, and you'll see an update from me with this thing freaking broken. But until then, I'm going to go ahead and give it two thumbs up because this is doing exactly what I thought it would do. Um, you watch this review on sillyreviews.com.